What's up guys, Grim here, bringing you guys another Warfront on the Warrior, and this is the Warlord Paragon version of it, which, this is a little bit older of a video, because I normally run the Warlord Paladin version right now because of its survivability. I love being able to go right in the heat and not have to worry about dying all the time. Which the Paragon version here does more damage and the burst is absolutely insane for getting kills and all of that. However, I do not find it as fun as the Paladin version because I'm still killing people like crazy with the Paladin version. But I don't have to worry about dying as much. I've got so much healing potential and I'm quite a bit more tanky as well. So... Yeah, it's the Paladin version for me now, but as you can see in this video, it, the Paragon version is very good damage and very fun to play as well. So I've got guide videos on both versions. Check them out. They're on my channel and enjoy. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about recording software and the such. Uh, just to start out with, I'm testing out a lot of different things. Uh, before I was using my web camera for my sound as well, because the web camera was not distorting the volume and all of that like my Blue Yeti mic was. So I was using that, but I believe now I have figured out all the issues with my Blue Yeti mic and it is a professional mic and as you can hear the sound is much different than what you're used to in the videos because the Blue Yeti mic is just awesome. If you can get it working, well, it does work right, it's just a matter of getting all your settings right. So. That's what I was running into and I believe I've got it figured out and the Blue Yeti mic will be the future recording device for everything. As far as I'm concerned anyway. And what all software have I been using? I'll tell you guys my process mainly is whenever I was just recently doing videos and stuff, what I would do is I record a Warfront with Fraps and then I would record video with my webcam to record myself, of course. And it would be two different files. And after the Warfront was over, well, whenever I got ready to make the video, I would have to take the webcam uh, video file and splice it into the video of the Warfront. And of course, set my green screen right and all of that so it's not distorted. And then I would render it and typically on a video that is you know 10 minutes long or something like that rendering of that kind of video is around a 30 minute process so after I've done all this editing and spliced in the webcam with it and then rendered it it would be 30 minutes after that and as you can imagine the process gets to taking a long time if I don't do a lot of editing uh, if I do a lot of editing, it's even longer and it gets pretty insane the amount of time that I would put into each video. Well, I started to want to make this process a little easier on myself. So I seen that with XSplit, which is the streaming software, you could record locally onto your computer, which would allow me to have the webcam and the video and green screen and everything working all at once and put it into one file on my computer that way that all I would have to edit in is my outro where it shows links to other videos and stuff like that. So it seemed like a great thing. However, I could not get the volume in the video to sync up right, which meant that I would have to render it and edit it anyway, which made it very, very annoying because I thought this would make the whole process so much easier and it turned out that it was not making it easier I still had to sync up the sound and and then render it all like that so I downloaded another program that was also made by XSplit called Gamecaster and Gamecaster is a less resource using program than XSplit 
and Savior. well the problem is is that it doesn't have as many options so whenever things go bad you pretty much cannot change it to work right you have to deal with the preset configuration that they had on there and you can edit some of it uh, don't get me wrong but the program has a long ways to go and it's a very new program so the options and all of that isn't there yet and it just wasn't a good option because um, it was also making the volume of the audio and the video not sync right so yeah had to give it up I keep on trying to find solutions for those two programs to get the audio and video to sync up right but I'm not having any luck so I am now using shadow play which is GeForce based and if you're not familiar with it it is a very low resource streaming software and it doesn't have too many options yet as well but man is it working awesome for me right now this thing is not lagging up my game at all it's recording the the audio and the video just perfect and the only thing that they need to do is they need to enable webcam with local recording which means that you're not live streaming or something like that you're just recording a video for your computer but if you live stream it does have good options for that and you can just you know have everything synced up right it's working just perfect but they need to add a little more options it's still a new program and it is provided by NVIDIA which makes GeForce products so if you haven't checked out Shadowplay and you have a GeForce uh, graphics card do that because it is an awesome program and I'm loving it so far they've just got to add a few more options and like I said the local recording with webcam is mandatory I must have it but this war front's about over I believe I go 13 and 1 in this one and I hope you guys enjoyed it like usual my name is Grim and I hope you enjoy the better quality videos I'll see you guys next time